basically we have created our background color and our node for the ground and attach it to it our sprite node for the tile for the uh, for the ground where the player will be let's uh, create our our player sprite and we are going to create with the same uh, class so uh, self player let's define this new attribute of this of the class will be uh, a sprite node like like before and we are going to take it from the right uh, bottom here on the bottom of the of the screen let's take a green one alien front and if you want to change it let's tap here and change another another one then we are going to uh, put the position of the sprite on the screen Let's define the position uh, with self dot player dot position. Of course, it's equal. We're gonna place it in the middle. So let's take the position, the sides of the screen, and the width of the screen. Let's divide it by two, and let's put it into the vertical uh, sides, the vertical position at forty one. Then uh, let's attach it to the ground. Uh, attach uh, the the player to the ground to make it visible make it visible and it will be so the ground the, the node where all the sprites will be attached uh, add to this node like we did with the with the tile we are going to add our self player that is our sprite. And let's see what, what we got. We get the player, you see it's down here. And we could we could change the position here on the on the height of the height, a little higher, or we can do another thing. That's what it's gonna do. We're gonna put the um, the rotation point to say so of the sprite and the anchor point okay and it is usually on the middle so if you want to rotate our sprite it will be um, the rotation point will be in the middle but now as we are going we don't want to rotate the sprite we want just to move it around on the left and on the right we are going to put the position anchor point there it is uh, we are going to position it in uh, on the fit so to do so we got to put here 0 0.5 on the center and 0 on down of the of the sprite so so that you see it will be here right where we want it to be so in the next video we will see how to uh, move around our sprite